Hello everybody, this video will be on the Moti effect. By way of review, when we have a current carrying conductor, especially a straight current carrying conductor, the current will generate its own radial magnetic field. We can determine the direction or the orientation of this magnetic field by using a right-hand group rule, where our thumb will be in the direction of the conventional current, and fingers when wrapped around the conductor will be indicating the direction of the radial magnetic field. So, as you can see in this diagram, the conventional current travels upwards through the straight conductor, and so is a person's thumb. As the person wraps the fingers around the conductor, the fingers will be in the same direction as the circular or radial magnetic field. The strength of this magnetic field is also given by the equation mu0 times by i divided by 2 pi r. Mu0 is the magnetic permeability constant, i is the current in amperes going through the conductor, and r is the radial distance away from the straight conductor. We can also examine the relationship between the current direction and its own magnetic field by taking a different view. In this diagram, the current is going out of the screen in the left diagram, and it's going into the screen on the right. If we use a right-hand grip rule and point our thumb away from the screen in the left diagram, our fingers of the right hand, when put into a grip form, should be going in an anti-clockwise direction, which is of course the same direction as the radial magnetic field. When we put our thumb into the screen, our fingers should be going in a clockwise direction. So the direction of a current dictates the orientation of the radial magnetic field. When understanding current current conductors and their behaviors inside a magnetic field, it's important to remind yourself that current is nothing but a string of moving electrons or moving charged particles. In another video on the motion of charged particles in magnetic fields, we discussed that moving charged particles will experience a magnetic force when they are moving in the magnetic field. And this magnetic force is given by QVB sine theta, where Q is the charge of the electron, and V is the velocity. When we have a current, we can modify this equation by converting Q into current multiplied by time. And this is because current is given by the charge over time. So charge is equal to current multiplied by time. We can also convert the velocity into the length of the conductor, or the distance over which the electrons have to travel, by the time taken by the electrons to cover the length of the conductor. By doing so, we can cancel out the time taken, and this will give us a new equation in terms of currents, where the force acting on the current, or the stream of electrons, is equal to the current times by the length of the conductor, times by the magnetic field strength, and also angle theta, where in this case, angle theta is the direction between the velocity of the electrons and also the magnetic field. Since a current current conductor contains these moving electrons, when we place the current current conductor inside a magnetic field, it will experience a magnetic force. And this is because the individual electrons that make up the currents are acted upon by their magnetic forces due to the magnetic field. The motor effect is another name given to this interaction between a current current conductor when it's being placed inside an external magnetic field. Specifically, the definition of the motor effect is that when a current current conductor is placed inside a magnetic field, it will be acted upon by a force. The reason why this is called the motor effect is because this is the fundamental basis of how motors operate and function. We cover how motors function in its own video. When learning about the motor effect, we can break down the motor effect into its direction and magnitude of force that's acting on the current current conductor when it's being placed inside the magnetic field. The direction can be determined using the right-hand palm rule. This is the same right-hand palm rule that we've used for charged particles that are moving inside the magnetic field. The subtle difference here is that the thumb will be pointing in the direction of the conventional current. Everything else will stay the same. Our four fingers will go in the direction of the magnetic field, and palm will be then facing the direction of the force that's acting on the current current conductor. So if you take a look at this diagram here, our conventional current is traveling to the left, 
so that means our thumb should also point towards the left. Our magnetic field goes from the North Pole to the South Pole, so it's going downwards, so our fingers will be pointing downwards. And if we do this with our right hand, your palm should be facing out of the screen. And that's the direction of the force that's acting on this conductor. The magnitude of this magnetic force acting on the conductor can be given by the equation that we just derived before. Take your time and look at what the force depends on. It depends on the size of the current, the length of the conductor, and also the strength of the magnetic field. So that means greater the ampere of the current, or longer the conductor, or stronger the magnetic field, the magnitude of the force will become larger. In addition, the angle between the conductor and the magnetic field lines also matters. If the angle here is perpendicular or 90 degrees, so when the conductor is at a perpendicular orientation to the magnetic field, this is when the force is the largest. If the conductor is parallel or at an angle of zero degrees relative to the magnetic field lines, then the conductor will experience a force of zero. And that's because sine zero degrees will give you a value of zero. So we have a 12 centimeter long wire that's carrying a current of three amperes at 30 degrees relative to the magnetic field. And the magnetic field also has a strength of 0.9 Tesla. Determine the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force that's acting on the wire. This is an example of a motor effect because we have a conductor that's carrying current and the conductor is being placed inside an external magnetic field. The magnitude of this force can be worked out by using the equation I multiplied by L times by B times by sine theta. The current is 3 amperes, and the length of the conductor is the length that's inside the magnetic field. So this is given as 0.12 meters. And B is the strength of the magnetic field, so 0.9 teslas. And theta is defined as the angle between the conductor and the direction of the magnetic field. So in this question, this is 30 degrees. And this gives me a magnitude of force of 0.162 newtons. The direction can be worked out by using the right hand palm rule. In the right hand palm rule, our thumb will be facing the direction of the conventional current. Our four fingers face the direction of the magnetic field. So the angle between your thumb and finger in this example will be 30 degrees. And if you do this properly with the right hand, your palm should be facing into the screen. So this is the direction of your force. 0.162 newtons into the screen. One is placed in the uniform magnetic field of strength 0.04 teslas. And the 3 ampere current will flow through this rod as shown. Determine the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force on the rod. We can start our question by writing the appropriate equation. Magnitude of this force is given by ILB sine theta. So the current is 3 amperes. The length is length of this conductor here, which is not directly given. But we can work this out by using trigonometry by drawing a right angle triangle like this. L, which is the length of the conductor, is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So we can take the opposite side, 0.25 meters, divided by the hypotenuse, this is equal to sine 45 degrees. And L is given by 0.35 meters. So L here is 0.35 meters. B is the strength of the magnetic field, which is 0.04 teslas. And theta is the angle between the conductor and the magnetic field. Even though the angle given by the diagram is 45 degrees, you must always ask yourself, is this the correct angle for the equation? In this case, the conductor is actually placed in a perpendicular orientation relative to the magnetic field, because the magnetic field, shown by the crosses, are going into the screen. The angle here would be sine 90 degrees rather than 45 degrees. And this gives us a force of 0.042 newtons. The direction of the force can be worked out by using the right hand palm rule. In the right hand palm rule, your thumb will be going in a diagonal direction towards the top right, in the same direction as your conventional current. Your fingers will be pointing into the screen 
because this is where the magnetic field lines are going. By doing this, hopefully your palm is facing towards the top left. And this is the direction of your force. So here, our final answer will be 0.042 newtons towards the top left.